Hi all, uh, recently I was uh, contacted and asked to make a video on the parts of a multi-purpose ship and uh, uh, I thought okay I'll make this video here. Uh, multi-purpose ship, if you have never been on multi-purpose ships, uh, they carry different kinds of cargo, they do not carry a specific type of cargo and uh, that is why they are known as a multi-purpose ship. So in today's video maybe this could be at a pre-C level or it could be for at a level uh, where you have just entered the industry or a deck cadet. Uh, you may find this useful uh, if you all find it useful that's great but i just thought i'll take you through a parts of the multi-purpose ship today so what i have uh, shown or how i have shown i have labeled the parts and then uh, you can see the numbers and i'll just tell you what each of the number is uh, and uh, you can identify with the part of the ship because if i try to write it uh, it would clutter up the screen and you would get all confused with all the text so numbering would work very well here all right so we'll start with number one two and so on so what you see as number one is of course it's there on all ships it's the rudder number two is also there on most of the ships it's the propeller then you if you move into the engine room number three is showing you the main engine with the gearbox and the shaft generator then you move on to number four which is on deck could be you can see the co2 bottles there so those are the co2 bottles in a co2 room so that is the carbon dioxide bottles in carbon dioxide room so basically co2 is a fixed firefighting extinguishing system and that is provided on most of the cargo ships number five you have the uh, it could be a rescue boat or a man overboard as it is called uh, on many ships it's called a man overboard boat but in uh, many ships also called the rescue boat it is used specifically for recovering persons who have fallen into the sea Number six is a free fall lifeboat. This is the kind of lifeboat that is called a free fall lifeboat. The other type is the David launched lifeboat, but this is a free fall lifeboat. Number seven is the crane that is there that is provided for the rescue boat or the man overboard boat, uh, as well as for lowering maybe the life raft and the provisions or anything else other than that. So that could be used. It's a multi purpose crane. Then number eight, you have the funnel with all exhaust pipes that you can see. The funnel is of course an extension of the engine room. Number nine is the aft mast with the navigation lights uh, situated on the aft mast. Number 10 is the, you can see the Christmas tree lights with the radar scanners maybe. You can see the radar scanners are also there and the Christmas tree lights are there as well. That could be it. Number 11 is the top deck with the magnetic compass as well as the searchlight. Uh, it's also called the monkey island on many ships the top deck is also called the monkey island and number 12 was of course showing the general accommodation number 13 you have the hatch stacking crane so number 13 is in the next slide so what i'll do is i'll go into number 13 here so number 13 is the hatch stacking crane uh, which is uh, used for stacking the uh, hatch covers uh, number 14 is the heavy fuel oil tank. Uh, if you missed number 14, then just go back and see number 14. I could not get the whole picture onto the one slide here. And that's why number 15 is the bulk cargo that the ship may be loading or the ship may be carrying. Number 16 is the vertical bulkhead or pontoon. Uh, number 17 is the heavy cargo in terms of steel coils or something like that. And you can see the heavy cargo is loaded under deck and that is to get a good GM. Uh, get the center of gravity lower than the metacentric height and that's good for the stability so that's number 17 number 18 is the uh, could be uh, a general cargo like a project cargo or something like that uh, and we we often call it general cargo where we cannot classify anything as a particular cargo number 19 you have is the horizontal decks or hatch covers you can see the hatch covers are covering up the steel coils in a way that is showing that uh, the steel coils are located under the hatch covers number 20 you have some general cargo it could be rolls of paper it could be rolls of timber or uh, not timber rather rolls of paper or something like that number 21 you have the shear strip and uh, i'll come back to this 40 and 41 so if i talk about 40 and 41 now 40 is of course showing the port side in general and 41 is showing the starboard side so it's not that important then we have number 22 we have the hold fans i think they are the ventilator fans for the holds helps in the ventilation of the cargo uh, number 23 you have is the fixed bulkhead uh, which is forming part of the cargo hold as well 24 is the container pedestal uh, which can 
container pedestal load used to as a walkway and helps to protect us as a walkway or if you are loading containers then it's very handy in loading the containers number 25 is the tank top number 26 is the containers where you can see the containers have been loaded so you can see this ship is carrying all kind of multi per, multiple cargo so there's a steel coils rolls of paper project cargo and uh, bulk cargo and now you have containers there as well number 27 is the vertical bulkhead or the pontoon number 28 is the hatch combing so it's on the side of the hatch cover is the hatch combing 29 is uh, the wing tanks or the ballast wing tanks which are located on the side it helps in the heel correction mainly uh, number 30 you have some more bulk cargo it could be coal could be sulfur so we have some more bulk cargo there number 31 is the gangway number 32 is the stacked hatches so you can see these are the type of hatches that can be stacked one on top of the other they may be on a roller kind of a format you can just roll them and cover them up uh, and you can that's why you can when you open it they stack on one on top of one another you don't have to put it on the jetty or the port premises you can just keep it on the ship because it works on a pretty much a, a chain arrangement a, a chain and a wheel arrangement number 33 you have the top light or the range light or the forward masthead light number 34 you have is the breakwater that is uh, uh, just after the forecastle deck you have the breakwater because number 35 is the anchor windlass anchor windlass is on the forecastle deck and the breakwater pretty much protects the aft of the uh, forecastle deck from shipping seas or sprays or especially if there's cargo so the and that's the strengthening member as well the forecastle deck or the collision bulk the the breakwater number 36 is the collision bulkhead and number uh, 30 collision bulkhead is the most strongest bulkhead uh, on on the ship uh, takes up most of the panting and the pitching stresses rather and uh, prevents flooding of the compartment and it's very strong holds up can uh, is the strongest bulkhead on the ship forwardmost bulkhead and the strongest bulkhead number 37 you have the deep tank um, number 38 you have the bow thruster as you probably know bow thruster is used in maneuvering operations uh, especially in moving the ship uh, um, without engines if you don't want to use the engines to maneuver the ship just to fine tune it when maneuvering when berthing alongside or when sailing out use the bow thruster to move the bow either towards the jetty when you are maneuvering or away from the jetty when you are sailing out uh, number 39 is the four peak tank which is a for, forward most tank uh, that is the four peak tank and you know, the bulbous bow is also there in the four peak tanks so the bulbous, bulbous bow is on the outer part of the ship is called the bulbous bow and the four peak tank is the tank which is inside in that part and i think that's pretty much it so i know that uh, the parts of the ship are not much different from the uh, any other general cargo ship but the multi-purpose ships you can see uh, the main thing here is that they carry different types of cargo here and uh, you have arrangements for adjusting the trim and the ballast and the healing so it's uh, like any other container or a general cargo ship but uh, i was asked to make a video on this so i thought i'd make a video i hope you guys like it if you didn't then let me know as well um, and otherwise i'll keep making uh, similar videos uh, to make uh, people familiar with parts of the ship who are recently joined ships who may not be very familiar with certain types of ships so thanks guys and uh, bye for now